Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Kandan Mazdalia. I'm a professor at IIT Bombay. I'm the PA of the FOSI project and also of Spokane Tutorial project. <clears throat> Let me begin with Spokane Tutorials. Um, uh, these are, uh, by the way, I'm not sure whether um, uh, people have already uh, invited the gathering. Um, if not, I would like to invite all the audience uh, to the beautiful IIT campus. We are happy to be doing this uh, uh, event jointly with uh, uh, FOSS United for FOSS Mumbai. Welcome all. I'll give a brief overview of the Spock Tutorial and FOSSE projects and um, really happy to be doing this uh, uh, in this event. <coughs> Spoken tutorials are 10 minute long audio video tutorials created for self learning on open source topic. This is extremely important because we decided that this is what is accessible to um, public. This is what is most suitable for national level training. And then we dub them into our 22 languages usable offline. So created for self learning is done through novice check of the script. If the script is not understandable, we keep improving it Eventually, fortunately, it comes out. Then we record a uh, video using that script. We call it Spoken Tutorial. Here is a sample Spoken Tutorial. Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on embedding mathematics in XFIG. Okay. Uh, then we dub these into our languages. For people not fluent in English, we dub them into all of our 22 languages. Only the audio is dubbed, video remains in English. So students can use normal computer, normal keyboard, normal software, etc. It helps retain employment opportunities for them, even for those who are not fluent in English. C++ make constructors or destructors ke spoken tutorial mein aapka swagat hai. Is flow sheeting ke hari magam kurekta spoken tutorial ke nal varavel. Java ityasmin ankaganiti ya prakriya ya ha paatham pradesh swagatam. Aspin Pate, Vayam, Vividaha, Ankaganita Prakriyaha, Abjas Yamaha, Te, Sayogaha. Okay. Uh, we also have dubbing in many international languages. We have 1,500 tutorials in English and 15,000 dubbed tutorials um, taking uh, in, in all these languages. And internet is not required to learn. And we follow the this pedagogy side by side method, learn by repeating. You can see the video here and the software. So we expect the students to have access to the software to learn it. And obviously this is possible only with open source software for national level training. Uh, sir, sorry for the interruption. Uh, actually, yeah. I think you are trying to present to your screen, but the screen was not yeah. visible. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about it. Yeah. So I will not repeat whatever I showed because those are straightforward. So maybe I'll, what I will do is, uh, you've already seen that. Um, Welcome to the spoken tutorial on it. So that is that. C++ make constructors. So Hindi. Flow sheeting. Harimugam Kurita. Tamil. Sanskrit. Java it just mean Ankaganit. <clears throat> and um, what else? Uh, yeah, we use the side by side pedagogy. You have the video on one side and software on the other side. Uh, one learns by repeating, and it is possible only with open source software. Okay, so it, it's extremely uh, important in our method use, using FOSS. Uh, we have trained 70 lakh students and 2 lakh teachers. Uh, so, as suggested by some people, we use the terminology FLOSS in the place of FOSS. We added this liber to indicate that we are talking about freedom, not just free beer. And uh, FOSSE is uh, for education. Okay. And what are our objectives? To replace proprietary or commercial software, save institutional and government money increase the use of flaws in education. This is extremely important. Create collaborative content through students and faculty across the country. 
So in this way, we are different from efforts like uh, in Petal, Swayam, Swayam Prabha and so on, where um, the faculty members deliver and it is consumed by other people. Here, in our method, we are saying we will train the students, bring them to the level that they can actually contribute and then make that collaborative content available. So this is what we do. These are some of the software that we promote. Uh, Scilab for general computation, Python, general computation, open form, CFD, DWSM, chemical process simulation, open modelica, general purpose modeling, R is for statistics, eSIM is something that we developed, OSDAG is something we, we developed at IIT Bombay, these two. Linux, of course, we promote, focal, graphics and animation, here we have Blender, Synfig Studio, Scribers, Inkscape, GIMP, and some chemistry software, JMOL, um, virtual lab, and you know, things like that. So this is some mapping. Uh, these uh, are the equivalent, commercial equivalent of the flaws that we promote. We uh, create textbook companions as documents for flaws, because these can be created by students. What is meant by this? I'll just explain. Students give Scilab code for solved examples from standard textbooks. By the way, Scilab is a great alternative to MATLAB. MATLAB is used extensively in uh, scientific and uh, engineering fields. But we believe that Scilab is uh, an amazing uh, alternative. In fact, in one way, it is actually better. Okay? Um, the FOSI team verifies the code submitted by students. We give certificates and honorarium. The code gets uploaded onto the FOSI portal. We have more than one lakh examples coded by um, students from about 634 textbooks. About 1,000 students have contributed from about equal number of uh, colleges. So here are the code for examples created by students. Let, so let me just uh, open this and just give a feel for it. cloud.scilab.in. So it opens, if I click this, uh, it opens this, okay, cloud.scilab.in. All the 100,000 examples are here with Scilab code, for example. I'll illustrate it. Let me choose electrical engineering as the main category. Under that, there are many subcategories. Let me choose control systems. And there are many books in this. So let me choose Go, there's a standard textbook. In that book, there are many chapters, frequency domain analysis. In that, there are lots of examples. So let me choose 9.15 body plot. The moment I choose that, the code created by the student appears here. Okay. In fact, if you want to find out who it is, here is a contributor. So you can see that this person is Arpita Hadar, uh, mentored by Rekha and NIT Suratta, for example, right? Now, I can also download the Scilab code for this book or I can also Scilab code, see the Scilab code for this example. So, so many things are possible, but I can execute it. So, it runs on the cloud. So, the teacher can actually uh, use that while uh, teaching, let's say, control systems using Scilab. Because otherwise they say, how do I use Scilab? I don't know. So I asked them, okay, what course are you teaching? Okay, what book are you using? Here is the Scilab textbook companion. You can use that. So not just using it, but she can also do things like, what if, what if I change something? I'll show you that. Look at this. This uh, calculates something called gain margin, 14. Face margin, 31. 14 and 31. Now supposing I change the gain here. Because we have made this editable. So execute, you will see these margins changing. So now margin has become 8 and 17, 14 and 31 to 8 and 17. So you can see that it is uh, it is something that people can edit and modify. And, and one can even search amongst all the examples and uh, take an example, take the code for that, modify it slightly, and it becomes your code. It becomes uh, your problem statement. And so this is extremely useful for teachers who will use Scilab. Um, they can use this resource for setting problems for uh, 
labs, uh, assignment, exams, and so on. So I believe that um, Scilab is actually better than MATLAB in this respect. And we create textbook companions for several other things. We do lab migration from commercial software labs to um, open source labs. Uh, eSIM, as I already told you, is an electronic circuit simulation software. You can create such software, in fact, including mixed signal simulation. We recently did a hackathon with uh, Google. And uh, 500 electronic circuits created by students are available here. If you uh, click it, it takes you to our uh, FOSSI website. And you can see all the students, uh, Vellore and then Tiwari College of Engineering and so on. And there are more circuits available on the top. So about 500. So we have chemical process flow sheets uh, created by students across the country. So I have a LinkedIn article on that. In fact, if you flow, roll down, uh, scroll down, you will actually see students contributing from overseas. This is, uh, for example, Ecuador, Brazil. Uh, this is also another university from Brazil, Egypt, and so on and so forth. People are contributing from across the country. And all our material is available without even login. Uh, sir, sorry, but they are saying that there is uh, time constraint, so if you can wrap yeah, up. Yeah, I'm almost there, almost. Okay, sir. We promote uh, GIS, um, computational fluid dynamics. I'll skip this. We have case study by students, and these are all created by fellows. We do hackathon. We did an amazing Scilab toolbox hackathon. Synfig <coughs> mission. Um, and then uh, wherein 10 year old student created this hackathon. So why do students contribute? They get certificates, you are all of their work, research papers, Andrea, and many have benefited. So these are our activities in a nutshell. Uh, our project is funded by the National Mission on Education through ICT, Government of India. I want to thank you all for your uh, patient hearing and I am happy to be, we are happy to be a, a part of our, part of this effort and look forward to working with you in the future as well. Sorry, I'm not able to be, not be there at this time, but look forward to meeting you all in some other venue. So I'm going to stop sharing. Thank you. Sure. So big round of applause for Kanan, uh, Professor Kanan again. And uh, thank you so much, Professor, for being here and uh, sharing your uh, introduction about FOSI and a spoken tutorial. So uh, thanks again.